Perhaps we should have been chatting over a game of tennis, since it was right there. Unfortunately, though, the courts were full. My topspin backhand isn't what it was, and neither of us had brought a bat. Besides, Leicester and Argentina's cool hand Luke hasn't had much time for tennis, or indeed much else. International sportsman, recently qualified orthopedic surgeon, and a father to a delightful, but very demanding, young lady. So which would you say is the hardest work? You know, being a professional rugby player, being a doctor, or being a father to an 18-month-old girl? Well, for me, I think it's uh, being a good father is, <laughs> is the toughest, you know, to try to understand. Obviously, uh, uh, because I didn't spend much time with her, and, and I don't know what, if she cries, I don't know what she's crying for, and the mother is shouting me from the other side. Just give him, the, give her the Grammy, or just she wants water, or whatever. Okay, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's the hardest is to be a, a good father, you know. Contrapomi's World Cup was a fairy tale, albeit without the happy ending. Ireland's World Cup, on the other hand, wasn't a happy anything. And you sense a sore ego or two in Irish rugby. That and a determination to resume normal service in the Heineken Cup. They have nothing to prove. They all, and everyone knows how good they are and, and, and how good is the Irish team. Sometimes things just a click and, and probably did in, in, the, in the World Cup. That's a pity for them because they were... They tried so hard, they were coming with so high expectations. But uh, I'm sure that uh, they, will, they will come to their best world. They are showing now their best rugby. And, and, and hopefully they play their best rugby for us, for Leinster. Certainly Leinster's thoroughbred three quarters were back to the brilliant last weekend as Leicester was sliced open. The surgeon orchestrating the incisions and the Horgan scoring the try, but in truth it was more bludgeon than rapier that did for Leicester in a big hitting defensive display. Not your usual headline when you're talking about Leinster and the Heineken Cup, and perhaps a small shift of emphasis has taken place this season. In the past, we always believe that uh, we can score 31 points and, and perhaps the rival will score 30 and we don't care, but the truth is that um, Sometimes your attack doesn't work that well and, and what wins games is and tournaments and everything is your defense, you know. So if, if we can keep a solid performance as we did against Leicester in the in the defense, you know, I think we we are, we can become a very, very serious team. Leinster's return to Toulouse brings back some memories. Two years ago the boys in blue won one of the Heineken Cup games here. A match so good it took rugby commentary to a whole new update. Because of all what it meant, you know, a quarter-final and um, coming to to lose the champions, the reigning champions, the best team or the most successful team ever in the Heineken Cup and going there, they hadn't, lo hadn't lost for a lot of, of games at home and, and beating them in their own backyard, it was a great game, you know, and the way we played, we played well, um, but I don't know if it was the best, you know, we had some good performances, but what, as I told you, you need, you don't need one or two good performances a season, two to, or three or three or four, you know, I, I would say you need six games plus three, nine good performances to, to go all the way through. So here at Leinster with one big win under the belt already, looking to back it up a week later. It's a game that'll tell us a lot about the credentials of Felipe and friends, and even though it's only half the game it was last time, it'll still be totally compulsive.